Hello dear students, uh, the welcome to the next session of uh, Living World. So today we are going to discuss regarding uh, the various categories of the uh, taxonomic uh, hierarchy or the taxonomical arrangement. See, before that, you may be having a doubt in your mind that uh, how an organism can be uh, placed in a taxonomical hierarchy or how an uh, organism can be placed in various categories of a taxonomical arrangement. Hege on the organism on now are seven categories only placed Martha Octavi. To which category it belongs to? What is the uh, particular category name of that uh, individual? Say, for example, human being only. To which class we belong to? To which genus we belong? To which family we belong? Right? So this is only called as a positioning of an organism in a taxonomical hierarchy or the arrangement. Let's see. So in order to place an organism in various categories of taxonomical hierarchy, the basic requirement is nothing but the knowledge of characters of that particular individual. So if you have a knowledge of characters of the individual organism, are the group of uh, such organisms uh, then what happens uh, okay this helps us this uh, helps us to identify identify okay similarities and dissimilarities similarities uh, as well as uh, dissimilarities dissimilarities uh, between between individuals of between individuals of a uh, one group or or between or between different groups different groups what is the meaning of this one if you have the a uh, knowledge of basic characters of a particular organism or such individuals in a particular group it will help us to or it will help you to identify what are the similarities present between the organisms or the individuals of the same group and what are the dissimilarities they are having within the group or what are the similarities or dissimilarities present okay between the individuals of different groups also so these similarities and the dissimilarities between the individuals of a group are between the individuals of different groups only help us to identify to which category it belongs to and where we can place the organism in taxonomical hierarchy. Let's see or let's understand that one with the help of the discussion of the various taxonomical categories. So in that the first one in the taxonomical category is species. See the species is the a basic unit of biological classification remember in yesterday's class or in previous class we discussed that a taxon or the category or the rank is the unit of taxonomical arrangement there we said is a unit of taxonomical arrangement but here so species is considered as a basic unit of biological classification so don't get confused just a unit of taxonomical arrangement means that is a category or rank or taxon but the basic unit of biological classification is nothing but uh, species and this species is the lowest taxonomic category so you have got the taxonomical hierarchy in a descending as well as the ascending order right there which is at the lowest of that taxonomical hierarchy species so species is the lowest category among taxonomic categories. Then, how can you define a species? So species, how can you define Madhubodhu? So it may be asked for one mark, that is, as define a species. So, or for two marks, define species and give an example, right? So you have to define species in such a way that a species is nothing but a group of individuals. Species is a group of individuals with similar morphological characters 
with similar morphological characters. The first part of the definition is, let us understand that one. Species is a group of individuals. So, species is nothing but is a group of certain individuals. But how that individuals are similar to each other means, such group of individuals, in, in a group, individuals are having similarities in morphological characters. Morphological means which can be observed externally. Means the externally or visible or observable characters should be similar to each other. Such a group of individual forms species. That is first part of the definition. Species is a group of individuals okay, in which they are similar in, in their morphological characters or the features. And second part is such individuals are capable of interbreeding. Such individuals are in such a group, the male and the female individuals of that group can interbreed, means can mate or can copulate in order to produce fertile offsprings. Means the offsprings which are born to the individuals of that particular group should be fertile or they will be fertile means they are also capable of interbreeding after attaining the sexual maturity or the reproductive maturity and they are also able to give rise to or give birth to their young ones. So a species is nothing but is a group of individuals with similar morphological characters and capable of interbreeding and producing fertile offerings. Such a group of individuals only is called as species. So this is what the definition of species. Then each such species placed in single genus. One species belongs to one genus only. A single genus only. And the binomial names or the biological names or the scientific names where the two particular components will be there generic name and specific epithet so in binomial names the second half of that binomial name always represents the species name always represents the species name let us understand this one with examples now say for example see Solanum tuberosum. Next, Mangifera indica and Panthera tigris. So here I have written the scientific names of three organisms. Am I correct in writing these scientific names? Am I correct? Even though scientific names are written correctly, means correctly uh, mentioned there, but the way of writing is wrong there. Why? Can you remember the previous classes? What is the, what are the rules of writing the binomial names? In that particular one, when a scientific name is written in a handwritten manner, it sh they should be separately underlined. Remember that one. So, they should be separately underlined. Now, the way of writing the scientific name is correct. And one more also you can identify here. The first letter of the genus should start with capital letter. And the first letter of the species name should start with small letters only. So we are following the rules of a binomial nomenclature here. Good. Now, see Solanum tuberosum, nothing but it is a scientific or the biological name of a potato plant. Mangifera indica means it is a scientific name of the mango tree or the mango plant. Panthera tigris is the scientific name of the animal or as a tiger okay <clears throat> so here 
so here these are the three different examples of the organisms and their scientific names in that second part representing species name whatever the first part means the first part is representing the genus name so so in these examples you can see the solanum represents genus name mangifera represents genus name and panthera is representing genus names so this first part the first part of scientific name represents represents this one is representing generic name or genus the second part this is what the second part which represents the second part is representing specific epithet specific epithet or species specific epithet or the species so one species means a particular species belong to particular genus only each species each species is placed in one genus one genus what is the meaning of that one a genus may include more than one species but one species will not belongs to more than one genus means means one species or one genus one genus may include one genus may include more than more than one species in it but but one species doesn't belong to more than one genus but one species doesn't belong doesn't belong to more than one genus more than one genus okay say for example this is what the circle are representing a genus so it may include more than one species in it say for example this is species 1 species 2 species 3 like that see here three species belong to one genus right but such species will not belong to more than one genus so they are included in one genus say for example here is the another genus is present so this species will not belong to another genus also this belongs to one genus only species do not belongs to more than one genus but one genus may include more than one species in it is it clear so this is what regarding the discussion of a species okay and in scientific name how the second part is representing the species okay what is the scientific name of name of human beings the scientific name of human beings okay if you know the scientific name of human beings just send your answers personally into the whatsapp group okay is it clear if you don't know means we will mention it later in the other classes thank you guys now make a note of these points later we'll discuss regarding the the other aspect of taxonomic categories okay dear students sir the next discussion is regarding the <coughs> another category of the taxonomical hierarchy that is nothing but the genus <coughs> see next to the a species in a, a taxonomical arrangement is the genus only so what this genus is means it is the first highest category means highest taxonomical category 
after the species or above the level of the species so which is the next one in the order of taxonomical categories after species means next is the genus only so this genus its name is a latinized or the latin word that is applied to the genus so in order to mention the name of the genus the genus name will be either the latin word or the latinized so it is called as a generic name so what is the latinized word for the genus or the latin word for the genus means that is generic name so such a generic name forms first part of the binomial name or the first part of the scientific name of the binomial naming system or the binomial nomenclature of living organisms that is scientific names as per the binomial nomenclature contains two components first one is generic name second one is the species name or the specific epithet so here <coughs> how can you define the genus then as we have defined the species right species means it is a group of individuals uh, having the uh, common or the similar morphological features capable of interbreeding and producing the fertile offspring uh, similarly can you define the genus now so here the genus includes closely related species so genus is a aggregation or the group of closely related species that's it the definition of the genus what is the genus so genus is a group of closely related species species alle enaitu similar characters irthakanta individuals gala ond group anna navu species inda karidvi similarly ond species athwa bere species alli irthakanta individuals aa eradu species gala nadave enadru similarities idre they will belong to a next higher category that category is nothing but genus means say for example here one species of organisms are there and here another species of organisms are there individually they show lot of dissimilarities between them but when the species are considered there will be a more similarities or the more similar characters or the common characters between one species and another species then both of them belong to an higher category that is called as genus this is called as a genus so genus contains uh, the species which are having uh, some common or the similar characters means here the genus contains genus contains okay individuals or genus comprises comprises uh, species species which show would show similarities similarities are more common characters more common characters characters between them between them so here the similarity is not between the individuals similarities can be observed among the different species so genus contains a, a different species which show some common similarities are more character common characters between them let's see what are the examples in order to understand the genus so now the examples let us understand the concept of genus with the help of examples now see for example <coughs> see uh, solanum solanum tuberosum solanum tuberosum and here uh, solanum melongina solanum tuberosum is nothing but here it is a potato plant and uh, solanum melongina is nothing but uh, brinjal it is uh, 
brinjal plant so what is the scientific name of uh, potato plant means that is solanum tuberosum and brinjal is uh, solanum melangina so tuberosum is a one species melangina is an another species of plant as there are some common characters can be observed between these two species so both of them put together in single genus that is called a solanum here the solanum is nothing but a genus and here tuberosum and melangina these are the species name so tuberosum is one species melangina is another species but they have a common higher category called as solanum so solanum contains tuberosum species also melangina species also in this manner more than one species or more than two species which share some common similarities between them are more common characters they belongs to a next higher category than the species that is called as genus similarly if you take other examples also so next is say for example panthera panthera leo panthera tigris right next panthera leopard panthera leopard see panthera leo means it represents the scientific name of a lion next panthera tigris you already know it is a scientific name of a tiger and panthera leopard is the scientific name of a leopard see here the lion and tiger and leopard all are different from each other in various characters but as a species that is a leo tigris and leopard they show some common characters or more common characters so only they kept under one higher category that is called as panthera so all of them belong to the next higher category called as panthera so your panthera is the genus name leo tigris and leopard are the a species name in this way genus is nothing but it is a aggregation of the group of closely related species but if you take the example of but but the other genus the other genus say called as felis felis is the other genus which includes cats this one includes which includes cats so cats belong to which genus means felis for example the cat uh, which is a common pet for the human being right scientific name of that uh, uh, cat is felis domestica so felis domestica the domestica is the species of cat and felis is the genus of that cat so here the genus as well as the species both a differs from the genus and species of lion tiger or the leopard but these lion tiger and leopard as they uh, as a species they show some common characters so only they belongs to higher common category called as a panthera is it clear hope you have understood today's class so this is regarding the uh, species and then the genus in next class we are going to discuss uh, regarding the remaining categories of the taxonomical hierarchy thank you